Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to be going over how to set up your companies inside of Genesis Now. And also, as we're going along, I'm going to be pointing out some helpful tips and tricks with that as well to make your life simpler for going forward. So to expand your left hand vertical toolbar, just as a reminder, you can click the hamburger menu. But what we're going to be going to is companies. And so from companies, you'll notice that we have the capability to add in a new company, to add a new lien holder, or just to see all of our companies that we have in our Genesis Now system. So for right now though, we are going to add a new company. And you'll notice this brings up a company profile. So we can start typing in our carrier's name, like for instance, if we are working with Kemper, You'll notice as soon as we start typing in the name, we have some options here, including NAIC codes. And then that populates the information here. So NAIC code automatically appears here. We will also want to enter in our agency or producer code here as well. And while we're on this, guys, it's going to be very important that you are entering in the NASC code and the agency code as soon as possible because your training team within Genesis Now can reach out on your behalf to request downloads for you for most of your carriers. And if we can't, for whatever reason, we will let you know that as soon as possible, just so there's no delay in downloads coming into your Genesis Now system. Also guys, for future reference, once those downloads are coming in, also important that the NAIC code and producer codes are in here correctly. That way downloads are matching up correctly with the carrier information as well. So very important on those. If for some reason the NAIC code does not populate in here when you're entering in your carrier info, then you can reach out to your carrier representative contact or Possibly the NAIC code could be on some type of policy documents or um, carrier contract or possibly your commission statement as well. But the sooner the NAIC code and the agency producer code are in here, the better just for the sake of requesting downloads. Also, you're going to want to make sure that if you have an FS1 code for our North Carolina agencies, you're going to want to make sure that that is in here. If there is a parent company with this carrier, sometimes we have that type of situation. You're going to want to create a profile for the parent company and a separate profile for the agency that's underneath that parent company, if that makes sense. And you'll just have parent company entered in as the parents. You'll also enter in details like phone number, fax, email, website. So website, if you have the carrier site information for your agent log in, you're going to want to make sure that that is in here. Because once that is saved, then you'll have a link over here directly to that website. And I'll show you what that looks like in just a moment. You will also want to add in an agency subcode if you have one. Also enter in any comments about this particular carrier here. So going to our list of already existing companies, I wanted to show you what an already existing profile would look like. And we're not going to save this particular one, so we'll go ahead and continue. But otherwise, this was an actual account. You would want to go ahead and save that. So here's an already existing profile that I've created for Progressive. So you'll notice that I put in the carrier site information and I saved this company's profile. So now that I've done that, there is a light blue box down here next to website. You'll notice if I click on this, that takes me directly to the carrier site. So that can definitely make your life easier for the future. Also guys, I wanted to point out to you that you do have the capability to add in other companies like brokers, a premium finance company, vendors, so on and so forth. And you can put website links to all of those in here as well if you would like to do that. Also, guys, there is the capability to batch versus not batch receipts, depending on what you would like to do as far as accounting purposes go. Under the company profile is the capability to set up download configurations here, but that is detailed in a later video. 
you'll want to make sure mailing address, physical address are in here. Any contacts that you have associated with this particular carrier, you'll want to make sure that those are stored under people like your territory sales rep. So you could enter in all of this information, their title and their contact information, any notes that you want to make for yourself about them. You could do that here as well in the comments box. Let's say you accidentally entered in Progressive or another carrier twice. You could come down here to merge. You could select the company that you want to merge with and merge if that ever happens. And if you should have more than one location at your agency, you can also copy all of this carrier information over to your other agency locations. You also have the capability to put in notes here. Like let's say for instance, your carrier representative visits your agency and you go over some information with them and you wanted to notate that somewhere. Well, here would be a great place to be able to do that. Also, if you wanted media files saved under the carrier's profile, you could do that here as well. Like for instance, the contract that you have with a carrier. Also important to note that you can keep track of your commissions with this carrier. Like let's say for instance, you write personal auto and motorcycle with this particular carrier. You can input that here by clicking the plus sign for commissions. You can select the policy type for the business that you write. And you can put in new versus renewal business here to keep track of your commissions with this particular carrier. So guys, I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, by all means, please reach out.